do you know we get distracted at least seven to eight times in an hour which means in an eight hour day we get distracted at least 50 times and if every distraction is taking away two minutes of your productive time you are losing 100 minutes only to the distractions imagine how difficult is it to have a distraction free life well i have a solution for you my name is Sharad Sharma and in this video I'm going to share with you three simple tips that can help you have a distraction free life. Let us begin. Tip number one, stay away from all the weapons of mass distractions. Now you heard it right, weapons of mass distractions, all the social medias and all the pop-ups on your computer, take your focus away and distract you from the main task that you have on your hand. Now if you know it, you know what I'm talking about. You planned your day very, very well and you were focused on the task and then there came this pop-up and you clicked on it and you lost your day only to that particular distraction. Now, that's the reason I say stay away from all the weapons of mass distraction. The social media icons and all the pop-ups on your computer, disable them. It will help you stay focused. It will help you stay distraction-free. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, block time. Now, block time is an undivided time that is allocated to one single task where you only do that task and nothing other than that. You can have a 60 minute block or a 90 minute block. Now imagine you have a project that you want to work on and you want to have a focused thing that done on that particular project. And what do you do? You start your day and then comes distraction. Now instead of having that reactive approach, you will have a proactive approach. What you will do is you will block one hour in the morning, one hour in the afternoon and one hour in the evening only to work on that particular project and nothing else. Practicing block time is an amazing thing that you can do to have a distraction free life. Now that's tip number two. Tip number three, not to do list. Yes, we all know the to-do list, but we got to practice the not to-do list. Now, how much ever we plan, how much ever we apply everything, a lot of times we end up doing things that we did not plan to do. That's the reason at the end of the day, you got to plan the not to-do list. Now, what it does to you is it subconsciously sends you a message and tells you don't repeat the things that you have written in the not to-do list. So. And most often times you will also realize that in the not to do list you have written everything that took your focus away, that distracted you, that which distracted you. So remember, not to do list is a must because it will help you stay focused and stay distraction free. So these are the three tips that I thought I'll share with you today. My name is Sharad Sharma signing off. If you like this video, click on the like button. If you think that this should be shared with others, please click on the share button. I look forward to sharing more and more tips in the coming video. Signing off. See you soon.